Okay, so it looks like defeat has like no consequences for me. I didn't get anything for it, but it didn't screw me over either. I'm torn. Honestly, it might be best for me to just keep running the first zone over and over and over again. Maybe? Just because of the high chance of failure? Well, at the very least, let's re let's change that. Uh, healing them is pricey. Not that pricey. It mostly is pricey in the very beginning. Okay. Well, let's let them go. I think I'm going to save up to get him up to level 8 at the very least. So we can get access to some of the better equipment tiers. I'll just save the gold we get from most of these fights. Because... Yep, there he goes. Let's see what I grab. Okay, probably a good time to bail. But yeah, if you notice, we get 100 gold every time we do one of these runs. And like, obviously this guy go d goes down for a bit, but... Not a big deal. Uh, we could even just heal Eddie up. We don't even have to wait. It's slightly less... It's like... It's a trade-off. It's... On one hand... Yeah, it's... It's gonna cost me more money. On the other hand, it is faster. So... Eventually, I'll try not to do this when I'm... Rich? Ooh! Scarecrow's boots. New... New blueprint equipment. Probably not actually that good. Considering it's not a green. By default. But I'll take what I can get. And that's something worth hoarding. And every time we flee, we get to keep some of these resources. Not all of them, but some of them. I think that's okay. Alright. This should be the last fight. If we're lucky. Okay, so he goes down. Takes the rat out. Nope. Nope. We might be able to beat him. Yep. Not him, though. Not him at all. Okay. So we could maybe do a fashion contest, but I... I'm not convinced. Just probably going to keep healing him. Okay, so we got the rat tail. I think we want to do this one. We need a ghost essence. Maybe, I think the other zone might actually be better for farming, though. These guys are a lot tankier than anything else. This looks an awful like, lot like Weapon Shot Fantasy, which I loved. Yeah, I, I wonder if this is made... I, I am betting they absolutely uh, saw that game or like, we can make that better. I can't imagine that this was made in a vacuum and they had never heard of Weapon Shop Fantasy before. Just because of how freaking similar the two are. And if they did manage to come up with this completely independently, that's awesome. Good for them. But... Eh. I guess the other thing is we could start, like, hoarding madcap amounts of healing potions. But I figure I'd run out of those pretty quick. So who's it going to kill? It seems mostly focused on my back line. Eh, I guess it works out. We'll, we'll get some more uh, healing potions later. I wanted to save them for boss fights so I can just churn my way through them. I guess we got that one. Okay. Yeah, fine. Let's just do this one. It's faster, it's more efficient. Well, I actually, I, I really don't know if it's faster. So we can make desecrated ingots. At least I don't have to watch them like a hawk. That's the main thing. Oh, this armor only requires level 7. Animals are not welcome. I assume that's just for killing X number of things. Kill 100 monsters in the forest. Yeah. It'll be easier once I have multiple. So I could just go repeatedly... Ooh. But something painful. Oh, just another wolf. Wait, why did I do that? Ah, oh, dang it. I'm a dingus. Heal. 
do we have enough iron? No, I have some amount of iron. But I don't have enough. Because, yeah, I could actually get him in the soldier's breastplate. So, let's just, let's just keep pushing the, uh... Probably this one? Because I think these guys were less tough. Party limit of two. It's upgraded through gameplay. I think eventually I'll be able to get it up to much higher, but still. But yeah, I bet if we do this zone, we'll be able to clear a lot more of the runs. The second zone seemed a little bit more punishing. These guys hurt, but I think they tend to be a little bit less... punchy. How many healing potions does she have? Well, none left, but I thought she had a lot more. Or, I thought she only had three, I guess not? Or she just never had to use them previously, I, I don't know. But yeah, originally when we started I could only have one character, but it is, a, it is improved. Don't kill my back line. Front line on the other hand will, uh, commit honorable running away! Oh, her passive helps. You're right. I forgot about her passive. I'm gonna... I'm gonna start saving the money, seeing as we're poor. Alright. Noelle? Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna grab a thing, and you're going to run the hell away. Noble Noelle. Does what he does best. Alright. He grabbed a thing, he ran away. This might actually be more time, uh, time effective. Go get him, Noel. I believe in you. Not on this one, though. Fail. Because there's there's nothing stopping me from doing this. In fact, I might actually get more resources this way. Just only non-violent resources. But hell, that's what I'm about. Not Noel, it's Noel. It's a guy. No. Noel. I I've known plenty of Noels that are that are like male. Well, plenty. I've known two. But like that counts. Okay. So if I send them both oh wait, no, I can't send them both out. Okay. So I can just watch Noelle here. I mean, honestly, I'm gonna have to watch both of them, but I might as well send them both out simultaneously. I do kind of wish there's a quicker way of managing it. So only one of these characters would be going out at the same time. Oh, that's okay. I'm going to keep probably the money. Actually, no, no, no. We wanted the iron ore. Extra money is nice, but not that nice. Okay, so while you recover, make the remaining iron ingots. We don't have a whole lot of dark leather, but we have a fair amount of pine planks, which means we can get her the bandit crossbow. Ooh, Scarecrow Boots. I am incorrect. These are actually quite good. Unfortunately, Singing Skin and Gray Sting, I think both take a fair bit of resources to make. Oh, can I make this? Can I make the... Yeah, let's leave that for a little bit. So Gray Sting isn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, wow. Make a thing. So it depends on the stamina of the character in charge. Interdasting. Alright. Bandit crossbow. Wait. I think I already made the bandit crossbow. Yes, I did. Oh, well, it's better. Let's see. And Eddie. If we got elegant plates, I could actually get the desecrated ingots. But let's make him armor at the very least first. Can we make these? Yes. 
And we can also make sorrow stones. So I'm just gonna make a number of these. Can I make the mana potions? I can, but it is gonna cost me a fair bit of essence, which I don't really have a whole lot of access to. Okay, so he's gonna work on that. Well, he does. Let's go to him. So, the soldier's breastplate really increases his physical damage, but all right, whatever, we'll just roll him as a berserker for the time being. Okay. Let's sell this simple crossbow and sell the militia breastplate. Okay. I think I'm going to save up for that second character, now that I'm thinking about it, because that way I can have a consistent group. I don't know. We're we're still in that kind of crappy, poor, poor spot that's going to make it a little harder on me. Noel, my boy. Get in there. I believe in you. Mind some things. Don't die. Well, they seem to be doing better now that he can actually fight. So that's a good sign. If we can if we can consistently clear one of these levels without losing much, that is drastically going to be uh drastically going to increase my income. And yeah, they're they're killing it without even taking damage here. That that's a good sign. Oh, I should have had them replay. I wish I could have him retreat and replay, admittedly, but whatever. Well, that's fast. Okay, so that sucker does some damage to him. Oh! Wow, we just got murder brawled. Okay, so there are death lasers that we have to worry about occasionally. That's kind of okay. What can we process at the very least? No dark leather, but we can make a bunch of pine planks. So, stinging skin would be the other thing. Because, yeah, I could make her the scarecrow boots. They only require level 6. So they would be worth it, especially because group ice damage. Each part- Whoa, yes? Okay, so we gotta save up for that. Unfortunately, I don't know where we get ghouls- From ghouls on the battlefield. Oh, that's- That's kind of suck. How many iron ingots did we make? Because what it can do is honestly just keep making uh, soldiers breastplates and selling them. Honestly, with her. Seeing as we have all these training crossbows that I can make, I might as well make and sell them. Okay, so question, is this one better? No. Did it even sell for that much? No, it actually honestly didn't. So save that, uh, save those resources to make swords. Not breastplates. Honestly, training crossbows seem to be better money. Okay, but we gotta go back to the battlefield for ghouls. What's a ghoul? These things? Yeah, they are. Yeah, the main problem is these guys have, like, one hell of an evasion chance. They tend to be a bit punchier. Ow. Yeah, the, the battlefield critters are a pain. Worth it! If I if I can get those boots, I'm just gonna go for the money. Everything else doesn't matter right now. Because if I can get him the sword, he'll be at least decently more powerful.
Okay. Well, there's the ghoul. But I can't fight it. Not as I am. But we did get this. Okay, kill five rats scavengers. So you killed five rats? Well, that's very good for a beginner. Today's rats, they're much weaker than they used to be. They've grown fat from all the corpse eating. Even a farmer with a pitchfork can deal with them. You shit. Okay, can we level up Eddie? Yes. Yeah, that was expensive. But it means Eddie can actually start equipping soldier swords. And it's worth it. We need ghouls. Okay, now it's time to get serious. Today at dawn, my sons went out to kill some ghouls, and they got 14 of the creatures. 14! Your pathetic heroes couldn't even dream of anything like that, would they? Well, doubling up, I guess. Oh, he's still a little, in little injured. Whatever. Okay, so we want to hold on to the dark skin. Because if we can get her those boots for the, the team team ice damage, uh, that puts us in a really good spot. The money would be nice, but yeah, we need that damage bonus. And we bail. Okay. Do we have enough planks for this, by the way? Yeah, we do. Okay, so we can make cotton fabric. Into things at the very least. Adept shirt. Oh, group damage. Interesting. It's a flat amount. I wonder if the, the mages are more of like a support character in this game. Kind of. So it does look like we're going to have to go get a lot more of that elusis, elusive e essence along the way. You only keep one item if you retreat. I think you only get to keep 25% of whatever. But that's not bad. Okay, so we can upgrade the magic store too. Can we upgrade anything else? No. Maple planks we're going to have to wait for. Can I upgrade the market? No. Question. So all-seeing fabric, calico fabric, these are things that I can't do anything with anyway, but that's fine. It's nice to see. So level five to use one of these. Okay, right. We're gonna go get those ice boots, and then we're gonna go crush the forest into the ground forever. Because we need the elusive essence for a bunch of things anyway. Well, they seem to be more effective. Because, yeah, with that extra ice damage and eventually an extra caster, this should work out really well for me. Let's see, I'm actually going to save the pine logs here. Wow, we didn't fight much of anything on this run. That works out. Yeah, I think we want to just save, like load of money. So what is this rotten slice? I think that's something I make down here. Oh, but I gotta kill rat tails. Okay, so this this actually is going to be a bit of an endeavor to to get this set of boots. Worth it though. Oh, we might be... we might be depressed. Okay, but it's a ghoul. Let's see if it's a generous ghoul. Well, yes, actually, we got the Adept's pants. 
blueprint. So let's get out of here. And I gotta check how sad are my party members. Kind of sad. Okay. Yeah, we got the adept's pants. I'm assuming that's something here? Yes! But we gotta be level 5 to even use them. Great for Noelle! But not currently. Healing. Defenselessness. See, the, most of these seem to be spells and some other things. We'll work on those later. They're a massive money sink. I probably should have saved all the money that I picked up at the beginning of this chapter. But that's okay. Uh. Eh. I don't like waiting. The psychological trap here. Yeesh. There's a lot of just champ enemies here. Owie. Well, Soldier's Greaves. And we want to pick up all of these blueprints, because that's actually... Uh, upgrading the blacksmith only got me, like, one or two recipes here. Okay. Just kill the front guy first. And we'll have no problems. We might even kill the guy. Nope, never mind. Well, let's see if we get another fight after this one. Or if we just get the blueprint. Nope, bail. Okay. So, let's see if we've got it. We still haven't gotten a whole lot of anything. Oh, shoot. We got a bunch of copper. One of those. Don't get any more of those. I think I might be able to make another bandit's crossbow. We don't have any more of either of those. Okay. But yeah, we have so much copper sitting around, I could probably use that to make... I think Creeves were the uh, semi-money maker. I'm not entirely sure. But that'll give me a little bit. And you know what? Let's sell the uh, Scout's Jacket, Light Spears... Not the Soldier's Greaves, the Militia's gear Greaves. Training Crossbow. And we should double, we should compare and contrast. So, Eddie. Soldier's Greaves. Well, those are better than the ones that he's wearing. And that's about it. So if we go back to her. He's better, that's better. Okay, then I think I'm just gonna sell everything else. I know I could save this cr uh, simple crossbow, but we'll be getting better ones later anyway. Okay, so we're halfway to the next character. Once we have the next character, we can have them start just doing forest runs over and over and over again. Because, yeah, if they can beat the forest runs without dying, that means we're free to go. I wish this fourth character was just a little cheaper to facilitate that, but I don't know. Okay, so let's keep hunting those ghouls. You know how I was talking about, like, this game might be kind of short in comparison to Graveyard Keeper? I was wrong. Honestly, though, once we actually get some of these on farm super consistently, it won't be so bad. How much do potion sell for? You know, I haven't tested that, but I don't think I'm going to work on that one. Let's see. Now, here's a question. This goes a little bit slowly when they're on the adventures. Does this muck up the music if I start haxing around a little? Because if it doesn't muck up the music... Oh, there we go. What's a reasonable speed? Let's try this one. Okay. Work on that. Alright. 
Ghouls. Do you have any? I wish to fight them. If this game doesn't have a built-in speed mode, then I will have a built-in speed mode. There we go. Dark Essence. The money would be nice, but we need other stuff. Is that it? Nope. Run. Okay. Times three speed might be a little hectic for me, but I think I'm just going to get used to it. For people wondering how I'm doing speed hacks right now, it is the speed hack uh, built into Cheat Engine. Uh, not exactly maybe on the up and up, but boy does it make my life a lot easier and uh, significantly less slow burner now. And honestly, it doesn't even look that much worse. Like, yeah, okay, it's a little hasty, but that's about it. Immediately go out another one of those. Okay, there's a ghoul. Cool, but no, we get ghoul claws. I will do this often if a game is too slow for me. We want to save, save that rat tail. They're kind of rare. And yeah, this also... Uh, takes down the uh, the healing timer, which is really nice, actually. Like, I don't know. I, I think this is an appropriate speed for this game. I could maybe go a smidge faster, but like, eh, it's okay. Yeah, I, I will honestly do this in a lot of incremental games, if I can. I mean, for those of you... I'm no mystery to do uh, mystery. I'm no stranger to doing this sort of thing in uh, in any of their games. I did this. Uh, I did this in Graveyard Keeper actually. If any of you guys were watching, uh, where effectively, yeah, I was just making the character run at like ten times speed, and you know, just just going hella fast. And you know what? It made the whole experience significantly better because I I cut down on the meaningless stuff. The time it takes between getting from point A to point B, like, that's that's not even interesting con content. There are some games where, like, the journey is actually, you know, worth, worth seeing, worth watching, and whatever. Most of the time, though, yeah, not really. I was wondering when this would happen. I wanted to give it a couple hours so people weren't, like, immediately mad at me for whipping out cheats. Plus, you're not doing anything during battles. I think eventually I might have to slow it down to times two speed once I have, like, multiple groups going. But, like, especially early on like this, nah. And admittedly, like, I think what I'm supposed to be doing is farming the previous forest a bunch and, like, just getting their stuff up to green tier. Okay, saving these... Stone, cold stone. Oh, she got defeated. Damn it. That's the one problem with the speed. It is going to screw me over occasionally. I hit the re I, I hit the retreat button, but I guess it didn't take. Oh, well, it's fine. I mean, it's not like that blueprint won't show up again several times. Okay, so how much iron do we have? Quite a bit, actually. And have we got... I don't think we've got a whole lot of dark leather sitting around. Yeah, we need one... We need two more dark leather before I can make those boots. Once I can make those boots, like I said, this gets considerably easier. Ish. It's just the drop rate on it is garbage. Hey, there it is. Okay, she died before you hit the retreat by milliseconds. I I actually hit the re retreat button in the beginning of the rat fight, but like I said, didn't take. I think it's a natural consequence of uh, of using cheat engine. It sometimes just makes it a little eh. Okay. Well, at least we get a whole bunch of iron. The problem is these guys just have 400 HP. I can't just one-shot them like a lot of the base enemies that we run into. Well, I kind of can. Bandit's helmet. Oh, well, 
We got it. And do we give the ancient plates? Sure, I'll take the money. My neighbors bought me some ancient armor. They say it's a family heirloom. Oh, right, we already did that. I repaired the armor, but I'm not giving it to the neighbors. They ball songs all night, and I can't get any sleep. I don't need the armor, so you can take it. It's high-grade stuff, quite useful in combat. So we get an elegant, uh, elegant breastplate. Oh, and Eddie is sad. Also, thank you, Dystrophy, for gifting uh, five subs to Corgi2017. Uh, Gus, Gus, uh, Gus Gusum? Oh, one second. Uh, I give 10 cotton. Sure. He's given us a little present. I have no idea what the present is. Uh, Gus Gusum, Kavarkello, Floric, and Dark Lioness. Thank you so much. And let's make people less sad. By day in the spa. Okay, so I got more iron. Some more iron. We can make desecrated ingots, but we haven't gotten anything, like, fancy here. I'll make a soldier's sword. And soldier's greaves. And if they're not better upgrades, then I'll just sell them. Extra damage, but it reduces his defense pretty bad. Those are better. So I'm gonna hold on to this. We just gotta be level 10. Oh, we're so close. Is there anything else we can make? Bandit's crossbow? No. Simple crossbows? No. Yeah, there's the bandit's helmet, but we don't want to get that because the boots are boots are better. Okay, let's just do a couple more runs. Okay, yeah. I'll hold on to the rat tails unless the hides show up. Now, do we immediately get into a fight? Admittedly, probably could have survived that one, now that I'm thinking about it, but whatever. Okay. Uh, I guess we could do the cheaper thing. We got a couple of things that I could work on. But honestly, this is working towards a very specific and useful goal, so I don't really see the harm in it. I'll take a look at the events. Actually, I can do it here. Production problem. They keep asking for cotton, and I don't really get a whole lot out of it. But it's fine. Okay, let's let them go. Actually, since we have so much cotton, we make a bunch of cotton fabric. Can I make the Adept Staff? Yes. I'm just gonna make a bunch of those and then sell the, uh... Sell the worst ones. Or I could just keep selling it, because, like, his stats are garbage anyway, and no matter what, he's gonna be making the bad stuff. Okay. So, let's sell these. And that's enough to get the new hero. Okay, we get Mor Morico. So, ver a very religious girl, always willing to help the needy, deprived, and miserable. Miserable people. She is... High stamina. Special weapons. And it looks like her strength is even worse than the previous, uh, previous guys. Makes me wonder. If we take off all of her gear, what's the stat distribution again? So if I check Kazuki's... Kazuki... How many points of agility did I put in? Like a good five or so. It might be better to have her be a frontliner. As well. Because she's got the uh, health potion thing. For now? Hey, thank you, Commander David, for the six-month resub as well. I, uh, man, I gotta figure this one out. Okay.
So, at the very least, they need some gear. We're kind of low on money. Uh, let's get her up to level 3, at least. I don't think we can actually... I don't think we have much for anything for any of these characters, which is unfortunate. Well, at the very least, let's get her the, uh... We'll make her wear these things, and then I'll figure it out. Because, yeah, how much is it to get the next character? 8,000, which is really rough. I mean, I guess realistically, I can just dress one of the characters up, as long as I don't build them. Yeah. So, now that I think about it... I think I'm just going to level them up and just get them the, uh, the good. So let's, let's do this. These two, let's just roll this real quick. They're more or less just going to one-shot everything. Most, mostly. We're just going to run this a couple of times until Noel and Noriko are just a high enough level. Well, is this actually, hmm... So you give 10 pine logs, and we get six rat tails. Okay, that's that's helpful. Actually, now that I think about it, Noriko is a tank. If I just keep putting points into stamina, I'm still not entirely sure what special weapon is. Because I think stamina is supposed to increase your, your overall durability. Yeah? Moriko. Armor and health. Yeah, so because her stamina is considerably higher... Yeah, she she is a frontliner. She's just a weird frontliner, and I'm not sure what her exact deal is. Yeah, I should probably have been doing this the entire time, just uh, gather a bunch of basic elusive elusive essences and stuff like that. Okay, well that should be enough resources to build them some basic stuff. 